What's good, Wavels? It's your boy, Daryl Aldridge, a.k.a. Country Boy Wavel. Coming back at you one more time. Just come, uh, I just come. I just wanted to make a video, uh, not really doing a review, but just showing you what I'm using right now. What's going on with my waves? Uh, decided to try to wolf a little bit. I don't know how long I've been getting cuts for about, probably about every week getting cuts, trims, whatever, about every week, every week and a half or so. But uh, I decided to try uh, for this wolfing session some mega thick, some do grow mega thick growth lotion. Never used this. I used the, uh, this mega thick. Hair vitalizer right here uh, for my crown, for my edges and stuff. But since I like hair lotions, I want to try this out. You know, I saw uh, one of the guys uh, on uh, Elite Spins page on Facebook, King Showtime. Shout out to you, Showtime. He uh, cut all his hair off and started a new pattern to develop a uh, 720 pattern. And uh, he had posted this product. He was saying how good it was. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to try it out. And uh, when I first got it and I smelled it, I was like, man, this stuff smells, smells real good. Real good. It got uh, shea butter and uh, botanical, ugh, botanical thickeners, beeswax, and it's vitamin enriched. Promotes thick, strong growing hair. I've been using it now for about two weeks, and uh, I tell the difference. I mean, my hair is my hair is still the same. Ain't made no change in my hair as far as my texture or affecting my scalp, like making my scalp itch or nothing like that. So I give it a plus on that. No, uh, I think it's a very good product. But uh, I probably use it probably twice a week. You know what I'm saying? Just just depending on how my hair looking and how I feel it. I throw a little bit on and brush, and for like the past probably three or four weeks, I've been using nothing but my hard brush, you know, my hard CQP brush, and reason being is I put that in, you know what I'm saying, I just start brushing, I want to try to get it, get it down to my scalp, you know, so if it's going to promote strong growth, you want it to get down to your scalp, get down in your pores or help that hair grow and become thicker but even before I started using it I just wanted to start using my hard brush you know just to see what it's gonna do for my waves I really hadn't been using my hard CQP brush that much and I was like well I'm woofing I'm gonna see what it do for me but this is the first brush that I had and I ever got my first CQP brush I ever got and it worked wonders for me. I know you got some people out there that don't like the uh, synthetic bristles that it have, but uh, I mean, like some people say, the synthetic bristles is just not good for their hair. Might not might not be good for their hair texture or whatever. But for mine, it does justice. And for the misconception that the medium brush, some say the medium is hard than the harder. I beg to differ. If you use this brush long enough, you know what I'm saying? This, this I could tell the difference. This is the medium now. I can tell the difference since I've been brushing with this brush for like three, four weeks straight. So, I mean, it's not. It, it, you don't want to use it when your hair low. I tell you that much. But I can really tell the difference between the CQP hard and the medium. If you got one, I encourage you to use it. Because <clears throat> some people, I post pictures like, I don't know, probably last week or so, people like your, like your waves getting wider. Well, I haven't been doing nothing to make them appear wider or nothing like that. I mean, I still do my regular combing, and I think it's been the effect of using this hard brush. It's really been stretching my hair out, and I can really tell, have a couple forks in the back, and I can really tell by... Just brushing with this brush and straightening it out a little bit. Because, I mean, the bristles, you can tell the bristles are a little bit longer than the synthetic bristles in the medium brush. I mean, 
ain't too much longer, but it's 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 a difference, and they don't they don't give as much as the mixed bristles and the medium brush. So it's really getting down to my scalp, and it's working wonders. I'm back loving my CQP hard. If you got one, just use it for a while. See what it do for your hair. I mean, like if you in between wolfing or about to wolf or something like that, try it out. But back to the topic at hand. Mega thick. I ain't used none. Probably it's been like a day and a half since I put some in. So just want to put a little bit in, show y'all what it looked like. And then it's you can tell it's it's not as thin as some hair lotions that I use, but it's a real it's a real good product, man. I really like it. it smells good too. Decent shine after I put it in. You no know? decent little hole to it. I'm just rub a little bit in. So you can see when you're putting it in, you you have to rub it in. It's not it leaves a little film on it. You see, make it look a little cloudy until you get it rubbed in. That's because of the thickness of it. But man, it feels it feels real good going in. You know, real good. Y'all yeah, been using a little bit of this and uh, still my seasick moisture cream. You know, I probably I'll rotate it out a little bit, but <clears throat> for the majority of the part, I've been using this right here. It's uh, it keeps my hair moisturized good enough to use it by itself. So, I mean, I put this in now, brush now, do rag it up. Ways be looking pretty good in my opinion. But uh, as far as that, I mean, that's that's what I'm using right now, and. I'll take my do-rag off. I might throw a little bit of the king oil. You know, give me that good shine for a walk at the house. But cold label king oil. Still using that. But that's what I'm on right now. You know what I'm saying? Still brushing. Still waving a little bit. And uh, still working on my crown area. Especially with this, uh, this hard brush. I've seen some progress in my crown area. And uh, with the mega thick, thickening up that area of my head too. So we can see what it looking like up there. Uh, yeah, I got I got some rings. I got some rings forming since I've been using this hard brush. Really laying down the hair around the crown area up there. Hope y'all can see that. I can get a good view for you, but you can see, you can see them coming around. See, it's starting to develop around up in there, but still work in progress. I'll be slacking on that crown area sometime, but as far as everything else, man, you see that, put that mega thick in, pretty decent shine to it, them things shining up there. But yeah, that's where I'm at, man. And nothing changed for the people out there asking about what I've been doing to make my ways wider. Just been brushing with this hard brush. I probably go about, I do a little 10 minute brushing sessions throughout the day or so. But like I said, this brush is, it is hard. I mean, you can feel it to your scalp. You can feel it. Does it help distribute that? Lotion down there to the scalp too, so I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm trying to let this, let these things grow a little bit. See, I think I can get them up there. Probably can, <clears throat> probably can let my hair get a little thick. And, and brushing with that hard brush, it'll keep them, keep them curls stretched out a little bit. Probably allow me to wolf a little longer than I want to. Because my hair gets a certain length, it start wanting to curl up. Start to curl up real bad. But, I'm going to stick with it. Got all my other brushes put up for a while, so I'm going to rock with this hard brush. But yeah, that's all I wanted to touch base on today. Keep doing your thing out there, waivers. You know what I'm saying? Country boy wave ain't going nowhere. Still gonna be here brushing these 360s. Yeah! Country boy wave.
I'm out. Peace.